Hi everyone, Robin Foster here with Real Estate Experts. Um, welcome to my first episode of North Lake Tahoe Talks. Um, I service all over the um, Truckee Lake Tahoe market uh, for real estate, but I am here today with my good friend, neighbor, and um, a business associate. He is a local artist in the neighborhood and his name is David Mason. So I'd love to have him talk with you. Um, David, do you want to describe a little bit about your business today? Um, I do fine art. So kind of things you find in galleries, um, commissions for homes, um, contemporary realism is sort of my style. I have sort of called myself California West. So it allows me to go from cowboys and kids to animals and florals. So, which has been sort of fun and I play with all of that subject matter. Beautiful artwork. Um, can you describe, so you are here in Truckee, um, but can you describe where you're from and how you how you came to come? I grew up in Carmel, area? luckily. <laughs> um, artist community, both my parents are artists, so I had exposure and looks of all kinds of things and plus Carmel has its own moody fun charm about it as well that I really liked as a kid. Carmel's beautiful. Um, how did you get started into fine art because that's where your your career has Last landed. thing I ever thought I would do to be really quite honest. Um, I've been I've studied photography in school. I've been studying and pursuing more kind of work that had to do with photography. I'd always been drawing. I've always kind of learned and taught myself along the way. I got to a point where some of the drawings I was doing, I realized that people were finding a lot of value in them. And so I made this transition of from focusing on photography as the primary thing to using my camera as a sketchbook and drawing the things I was photographing and kind of giving those a chance to have even more life than they did as a picture. Got it. And is that, so we're, we're standing in your room that you are, this is your studio mm -hmm. and um, behind us is on the wall are some of your um, inspirations moving yeah. forward or past or present. Both. Mm -hmm. I kind of keep a constant, like my own Rolodex of visual stuff. Um, usually 10 to 14 picks of things that I'm going to start to work on next, or maybe those will lead me on to something after that but the thing now is the challenge is trying to get myself to slow down rather than have like a loss of things to, to keep me busy um which is fun because as i've gotten a little older and a little bit more i guess centered around or grounded around what i do it's like the fun things are just open it's really great that's great. So you have, um, you mentioned a little bit on the um, Western theme, and I know you've got a, you've got one that we can show here in a moment, maybe that you're just getting ready to start. But um, can you talk a little bit about your, you know, what, what has influenced you um, for the types of art? Anything I can wrap my head around. I, I mean, it used to be kind of keep it simple and focus on quality and co focus on depth, which was a lot of architectural stuff that sort of kind of helped me develop what my, my tools do and how I look at things. Sure. And, you know, and to be kind of moody and tell a story to the point where I've always loved cowboy work and I finally got brave enough to jump in the pond and really explore it, which is what I've done for the last couple of years. It, that's gone well. It's ended up with a show in downtown Truckee. Yep. Um, just just getting, this past Friday. It was great. Yeah. yeah. A, nice turnout. The show will be up for over a month, so, you know, that's sort of timing it towards Black Friday, and I'm sure if Curtis and Sarah like it, they'll probably keep it a little bit more into, like, the Christmas feel of yeah. things, too. Mm -hmm. They seem to be really happy with it. Sure. Um, and you... I'm getting accolades and attention for other things that I'm doing as well, so the momentum, you know, after the pandemic and being at home and working all that time, I feel like all that energy I put into the universe is sort of becoming something coming to is, fruition yeah it's yeah. really exciting yeah one of his pieces of artwork that is more on the architectural side um is behind over his um uh, shoulder over this direction um but do you want to chat a little bit about your um you know how you got started when you were young and who your influence was at that time yeah kind, I mean, of, a kind of the primary influence from when i was really young was ansel adams 
Um, I started, I got my hands on an old camera when I was about 10 or 11 and figured out how to use it. And then it all just sort of <laughs> took off from there. But he, of all the different art I saw when I was a kid, there was something about his photography that really talked to me. The tones, the highs and the lows. Mm -hmm. So being in the Carmel area and around Monterey and there was sort of an endless array of things to take pictures of. Sure. Whether you're at the coast with big waves or historic buildings in Monterey. Um, so like that's sort of where I practiced and kept going and going. And I got to work with Ansel after I graduated from high school. What a great, um, what a great experience that must have been. Yeah, like kind of a more involved um, internship, but also kind of a mentorship thing. I got some really nice personal time with him and just talking shop. I mean, it was unbelievable to have such a great, distinct, in the moment conversation about things that we saw and what you did with them and why you did that and what are you going to do next kind of stuff. And with Ansel Adams. How cool is that? I, know. I, mean, I, was, <laughs> I was 18 and he was 81 and it just felt oh. really, it felt really natural. It just felt like that was what we were supposed to be doing. Yep. Um, it was awesome. Wow. That's um, amazing. I worked with a, um, a couple of other photographers in Carmel as well. Edward Weston was another big pioneer that had lived in that area. Okay, So I've done work with both of his sons, Cole and Brett Weston, um, when I was in high school, when I was like 16 and 17. And did they have a, was it more nature scenes or was it more? One of, them, know? one of them was, one of the brothers was really big, large format color of anything from Santa Rosa up towards um, Mendocino, oh. rolling, like rolling hillsides, sure, Santa sure. Barbara County. Um, and the other one was really contrasty, hardcore black and white. Okay. And really interesting, they were both, they both picked up things from their dad who was equally as famous as Ansel. Edward Weston was, you know, one of the big guys. Well, and, I will have to check him out. I'm not sure yeah, if I'm familiar I mean, with he's, him. Ansel kind of went further. Yep. Um, but they were both around the same time and doing really incredible things. Okay. Like film and prints that nobody had done anything like that with before. Wow. Um, so it was neat. I got to be in Edward's old studio, um, which was part of an old school in, in Carmel. Sure. As well as spending time in the Ansel studio. Oh my gosh. So that was like, you know. I and mean, you were 18? Yeah, it was like a dream. Come oh my gosh, that's so yeah. cool. Wow. So you started for, started with the photography and Yeah, and I went to school and studied photography as well. Uh -huh. And then I just was always drawing and not doing things for friends and, you know, I don't know. I mean, not thinking that I would go anywhere with it. Right. But it was just something that I did. And the more I did it, the better I got at it. Right, right. And I finally kind of dug into a few really complicated drawings. And that sort of just paved the way for... So can you talk a little bit about your style? Because um, I never would have guessed um, seeing some of the most recent um, work that you've done. with. The, he's got one with a... a red almost like a bandana looking background and it's just a cowboy hat it is it's spectacular and you'd never guess but it is done in color pencil yes it's amazing so can you talk a little bit about like you know your um uh your format do you all do yeah, color so, pencil yeah, i mean we've got so color I'm, pencils right behind us on this God, uh, i know yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> on the desk back there i've always been more of a drawing person than a painting person um and since i've kind of taught myself Drawing is very forgiving and it can take a variety of different things, whether it's pen and ink, regular pencils that we'd use in school uh -huh. or different kinds of color pencils. Um, when I was taking design in college, my professor had us using this one brand that I really fell in love with oh. and I've used them ever since. Interesting. And the more I use them, the more I realize what I can do with them. When I started off, it was very a, a very primary experience and I was doing much more black and white and monochromes. Uh-huh. Um, Hence the Ansel Adams, maybe, influence. Possibly. Totally. I just, yep. I totally understand the contrast yep. and where I'm going with it. And plus, I like it. I like that look. Yeah. Where you can He's be got one right now that's kind of like right there. And it's um it's this uh, what gentleman with a hat. But you'd never guess it's, it's done in pencil. No, and it's nice because I can make it look painterly. Mm -hmm. But it's also, if it's in still in black and white, it's less likely to be compared to a photo because yep. I want it to be realistic and have its moment, yep. but I don't want it to be like, oh, this looks just like this picture. 
Yeah. You know, I wanted exactly. to have more personality. I wanted to have an opportunity for story. Um, I want to have somebody know that it was drawn because you want them to feel like a sense of craftsmanship. Sure. Because I put so much time into them. How else, like that level of quality, like you want that to shine through as well. Right. Because right. it's amazing in its own way. Other than outside of the story. I sure, think. sure. So your your uh, show that just took place in uh, Friday last week, right? It was Friday. Um, was at the gallery fifty eight thirty mm -hmm. in downtown Truckee. Yeah. So do you do you showcase your art in other locations as well, or? I've been since the, the pandemic's been going on. I've had a lot of really success with online exposure through mm -hmm. some bigger art groups that are helping promote art out of the gallery scene, yep. but on an online or a virtual experience. Sure. And the, I mean, this last season, was, I've had great luck. And I'm hoping that that momentum just carries over. Um, I like that format. You know, it's I've had some internationally judged shows and some nationally judged shows that I've done really well and ended up in the top tiers. Fantastic. And just being having that exposure and those, I just feel like, I want to continue that as much as possible. Sure. Plus have a local voice. Right, right. You know. Speaking of local, um, how did you make it from Carmel to Truckee? Like what were your inspirations for coming here? Truckee was sort of not a planned thing for me. Uh -huh. um, my ex-wife and I, who have a great daughter, her, they really wanted to come up here. So her and life was transitioning here. They were just, they, we, we'd been to San Francisco all together for a while. Uh -huh. And they decided, her and her partner decided they wanted to leave the city scene and go up into the mountains. And I kind of wasn't quite on board at first. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, and Truckee's grown on me incredibly. And yeah. I'm really happy that I'm here. Um, it was a big step to come up here, not just being from the city, but... I'm more of a beach guy. I grew up in, like I said, you grew up in Carmel. Yep, you're by I the ocean. Went to school in San Luis Obispo. Yep. I lived in Santa Barbara. I've never really been that far from the water. So, I mean, it's nice to be close to the lakes here. And now coming out of the pandemic, the opportunity that I've been able to create for myself in town yep. is kind of priceless at the moment. Yeah. So I'm really feeling like part of the crowd. That's nice. And we do have some galleries here. Yeah, so, no, the, um, the, the, the team up that I've done with 5830 with Curtis and his wife, Sarah, um, it's a great situation for all of us, and I think they feel strongly about teaming up with me. Mm -hmm. They're and wonderful people, too. So that just is all something that started in the last two and three months. So I think it has an opportunity to really grow. I'm looking forward to the spring and summer yeah, um, and things that they can do and some ideas that I have for them. Wonderful. Well, besides 5830 as the gallery, can you chat a little bit about maybe some of your favorite places to go or see or things to do here? In Truckee, there's... In Truckee or anywhere in North Lake Tahoe. Um, I love Donner Lake. I love sitting on the piers and just feeling the vibe. Beautiful lake. Yeah. Yeah. Dog, it's, it's dog so parks cool. are important. Giant pup. Yep. So, Her name's Ruby. <laughs> me and my dog friends are awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> we get together for play dates as often as possible. Yep. Um, that's really important. I mean, she's, you know, I haven't had a dog in a long time. And so she's definitely in my pandemic pal and, you know, like... My comfort spirit. She, she's a good dog. I'm surprised she's not in here. And she's curling yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> um, but other than that, this, the food thing has been a little challenging. It doesn't have the diversity that the city has had. That's right. Yeah. I found a couple of cool places that I really like and know the people that run them. Yeah. White Cat Pizza in Tahoe City. Okay. Or closer to Kings Beach is, yep. um, is really great. Oscar's awesome. Okay. Good um, to know. Yeah. Great view. I've not been there, wine. so I'll have to check that one out. Um, I also like, there's a place in Incline Village called Wings, which is Korean um, fried chicken. And it's, it should be in San Francisco. It's like, wow, it's, it's, it's like it's it's real, really it's, it's real authentic East Asian food. That's wonderful. Um, um, Anything here in Truckee that strikes yeah, your Lucy fancy? Yeah, I've been going to Burger Me a little bit more and, mm -hmm. and had some good experiences there. We yep. love Coffee Ann for the diner experience. Yep. Cornerstone Bakery is pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of partial. I work at Restaurant Troque. So I'm, I was waiting for you to bring that, that up. I think that's a pretty amazing <laughs> spot. Um, my chef is pretty pretty much a rock star. Yeah. And I'm really enjoying spending time there. And Troque is a five star? I, you know, it's. I think being in Truckee, it gets a little overlooked at times just because people don't really think that 
that kind of destination style restaurant's going to be here. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to surprise people. Yeah. You know, it's fine dining. It's high level. I have experience in this end of things. And yep. I've worked for some really established famous chefs. And, you know, I stand by John 100%. He's doing awesome yeah. work. And I, I like being involved in part of his team. Love you. you know, and it's, I think it's going to grow and get bigger as well. I need to come in there and see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you chat a little bit about maybe um, some of your most memorable experiences with customers and your artwork? I have had some really fun experiences. I've been really fortunate. I'm in a, the Hess Collection up in the Napa Valley, which is a pretty prestigious, it's a winery, but it's owned by, I want to say that the gentleman Donald Hess was Austrian. Um, and he's a huge art collector and kind of was always currently collecting and to become a part of his collection was really a big honor and to meet him. Um, I have an investor in San Francisco that in his office has Modigliani's, he has um, he has a Jackson Pollock above his desk. Mm. He has some really like Edward Moore sculptures and some other just amazing diverse paintings. Um, and he's collected a fair amount of my work. Nice. It's sort of exciting to go when he gets something to go deliver it up in his office. And, That's pretty cool. And the company that he works for, he has his own floor, not just his own office, but he has his own floor that he works from. And it's all his decorated in his personality. So it's off this kind of loft feel. And so to walk in there with an armful of stuff for him and, you know, and he's got all this stuff around him. It's a little intimidating, but super exciting. It's got to be awesome. What a great feeling. He's, yeah. He's like, he's wanting your artwork. How oh, cool is that? He's fantastic. And yeah. I love his support. Um, and anytime you go into anybody's house that has something of mine and to have it up in a place where I forget sometimes that when somebody has something, it and me, we kind of become a part of their daily routine. Yeah. And it's so, I mean, that's, that's like the ultimate honor, right? It's the like, very cool. whether I talk to them for a long time or not, you know, but I'm always there with them. That's right. Thing. Having coffee, having wine. Whatever in your it pajamas. is, you yeah. know, it's mm -hmm. just, it's an awesome thing. So I feel really fortunate to be in that kind of situation. Fantastic. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Man, that's pretty cool. Oh, I, I can't imagine what that would feel like, but that's, that's gotta be a great feeling. Well, and growing up around artists and growing up in galleries and seeing that, like, not like closely studying it, but seeing the business side of art and that people take art home and it's important that it's on their walls. Yep. So to get to the point where that's what I'm doing and that's what's happening and that's becoming even, you know, like people, like three or four people are asking about the same piece here and there these days. And it's exciting. I mean, yeah. that, all, that, 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 the thing that's exciting for me is the energy. Yeah. You know, because I put so much time here when there's nobody around and like all the energy I have and you don't really think about where it's going to go or what happens to it next. Yep. You know, it's part of it is just the joy of working. Part of it is being a good example for Lucy, yep. my daughter. His daughter. <laughs> um, and then to see that it, the, how the energy affects other people and that it ends up yep. something that they want and something they want a part of. Right, right. You know, it's great when somebody has an emotional reaction to something you do. That's so cool. You know, or like they have to have it. You know, it's it's pretty fun. So hopefully more gallery shows in the works. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, with yeah. everything that's happened this year, yeah. I'm just like, I'm, I feel like I'm just getting started. Yeah, I think you are. It's, which is really cool. Well, David, why don't you talk to us a little bit, share where can people find your art? How can they find you? MasonDoesArt.com is my website. That's something that I'll keep updated and it'll have news or archives of current exhibits or things that I've been doing. Um, so I'm just constantly kind of getting that to be bigger um, and it's in a good spot now. Um, currently 5830 Gallery in downtown Truckee. Mm -hmm. um, for landmarks, it's next to Squeeze In Breakfast Spot. It's a nice little kind of train car style, long and skinny place. It is, but, but it's I, in the shopping district. It's so right if downtown. you come up to ski or to mountain bike or yep. just passing through town and um, check out Gallery 5830. He's they have a have... really nice array of work from local artists. Um, Sarah and Curtis do a great job. Yep. It's a good vibe. They're pretty awesome. And like four doors down is Restaurant Troquet, if you want to come have a glass of wine. <laughs> it's always a good thing. Good idea. Um, <laughs> No, because the dining career is fun. I mean, we put on, we do a good thing there. I think mean, much kind of a, something you'd find in a bigger city or in the wine country. Right. Um, 
So it's nice that it's here. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. Really no appreciate this. David Mason, everyone. And the, my name's again, Robin Foster, real estate experts. And um, feel free to check me out on my website here. And you can get a chance to know a lot of the local folks in the area, things to do, places to go. And David Mason. Thank Thanks, you. Robin.